This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. Welcome, nerds. I'm Mark Weber, and you are listening to A Graphic Conversation, the bi-weekly podcast where we read, discuss, and review the best, and hopefully not the worst, in graphic novels. Today, I am joined, as I always am, by my good friend and fellow man-child, Ricky Widmer. What's up, guys? And for this week, this bi-week, I guess you could say, we read Why the Last Man, Volume 2, Cycles. And the reason why we're in season one and reading a volume two, you got to go back into the history a little bit into the wild, wild abyss that is the wastelands of prequel land. You know what? Just like I believe it was for when we read Key of Z, yep. I put some links down below of our old, old stuff. I'm going to do the heavy lifting for you. It's down below in the description. Yeah, so you can go in and see what we did in the first one for volume one. That was called Unmanned, by the way. Yes, it certainly was. But this is, Why the Last Man's a fun one. Uh, let me first tell you about a graphic conversation in case you've never listened to the podcast before. And then we'll talk about what this actual graphic novel is. Uh, so, a graphic conversation, We every other week we find a graphic novel and we read it, we talk about it, we, we we review it. Sometimes they're related to things, like movies that are coming out. You at, at this point, if you've been listening to the season, you've noticed that we like to do that for movies that come out. Uh, but this one's just for the fun of it. This is just one we wanted to read. And we've read a first one before, we really liked it, we wanted to continue on. And I think you'll like it too, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So Why the Last Man uh, essentially is... A random disease comes out and kills all the males on the planet. Mammals. All male mammals, I should say. Except for one man and his monkey. That's Yorick Brown and his monkey, Ampersand. I love that name. Love it. Of course, who doesn't? So let me tell you about Cycles. As Yorick Brown, the last man on Earth, begins to make his way across the country to California, he and his companions are forced to make an unscheduled stop in Marisville, Ohio. A small town with a big secret. Very nice, you know, just subtle, I mean, mm-hmm. small little description there. Um, but that's that's exactly what it is. It's a very quick read. Oh, it was very quick. I I was actually worried, Mark, because I'll let you in and I'll let the listeners in a little behind the scenes. Um, as we were recording this, I was going to read this last night. So I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like too long mm-hmm. of one. I'll knock it out. Well, I fell asleep. And then uh, I woke up this morning, I'm like, shit, I got to get to work. While I was at work, though, because it was a slower day, I was able to read it, and it took me, I was maybe saying, oh, it'll take me the two hours that I have. No, it took me like an hour, and I was like, okay, mm-hmm. now what do I do? Yeah. Now what do I do at my time? <laughs> no, I got to find work to do. Yeah, man, yeah. I could actually work, but man, what, what's the worst of fun in that? Yeah, exactly. Um, so right now we are in a spoiler-free mode. We'll talk kind of generally about the graphic novel. Uh, and, and all that good stuff. But then we will warn you before it gets to spoiler mode because we don't want to ruin anything for you. If you want to read mm-hmm. it, we want you to do that. You don't have to read it. You can just be a part of the conversation and listen if you're into that kind of thing. But we hope that you do read it because I think we're both going to recommend you read this one. We oh, both enjoyed this, it. This is one of the things that I recommend right now, and I'm going to make two recommendations. One for next season because we are going to get back to this one. Next mm-hmm. season is... You got to go ahead and get caught up on Why the Last Man because we're going to be reading a lot more of these. And if you haven't, I know we read a lot more of them than this, but you got to catch up to us in Morning Glories because that's one we're going to hit again next season. Yeah, love Morning Glories for sure. Uh, Why the Last Man is definitely up there too. But Ricky, you know, some people might be thinking I'm a little busy. I got a lot of things going on. I don't know if I have time to read this graphic novel. Who should read this graphic novel? Who is this for? I kind of feel like I I was actually thinking about this question that you asked me at the beginning of each a graphic conversation while I was reading the graphic novel, and I kind of feel like this one is for a little bit mature of an audience. This isn't one that you're going to, oh, little Timmy who's 
12 years old needs a comic. Here you go. No, this is one that actually it it has some mature stuff, mature language. Obviously, it has a bunch of women called the Amazons who hack off their daughters of Amazon. Le- their left breasticle mm-hmm. is what they hack off, and they only have their right breasticle mm-hmm. ready for action. But I mean, this is a mature kind of a story, and it's not one to shy away and get kiddish just to bring that kind of a people in. It is what it is, and it stays true to it. Yep, for sure. Um, and, and I think adding on to that, of course, obviously you have to read Why the Last Man, the first mm-hmm. one. But it's it's a post-apocalyptic story. If you like stuff like that, you're going to like this. But it's a different view of it. It's not that zombies showed up. It's not that a nuclear apocalypse happened. It's just something happened. Yeah, it's just mystery thing happens. What happens if we change it? And I love the facts that they give mm-hmm. uh, in the beginning. I guess I could pull them up uh, of like 90... 90- 95% of all commercial pilots are dead. Uh, you know, 51% of the world's ag- agricultural labor force still mm-hmm. alive, women. Uh, but it just has all these interesting facts, like 99% of the world's landowners mm-hmm. dead because 99% of them are males. Yeah. It's just a weird view of, like, somebody made all these connections and went, huh, what if? And that's the coolest thing about this story. It is very much just a what if, what happens next. And if you appreciate that type of thing, if you if you really like that, you like thinking about that, this is definitely for you. Well, it's like one of the things, and I don't think this is spoilery, but this is but just Ricky something. But Ricky does classically ruin something. This is something that was uh-huh. mentioned at the beginning of this one, and it was interesting, is most of the transportation that we've seen in the first one and now the second one is trains. And mm-hmm. you may go, well, why are they always on ground? Motorcycles, trains, why aren't they in the air and taking airplanes? And that's because one of the characters who was a train kind of specialist, I believe, said mm-hmm. that she's like, oh, well, most of the pilots were males. 95%. So we don't have anyone that can fly the planes anymore. Yeah. We got 5% of the pilots out mm-hmm. there are still alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So it's just interesting to think about that, uh, of how everything changes um, and what that brings for the world. So with that being said we'll we'll get into it cuz i mean there's not much we can do without getting into the spoilers mm-hmm. so we will do that um but is there any anything else that you kind of you want to talk about before we go into spoiler mode um i'm trying to think and i can't really how about we do this in case for i know we're 7 minutes in but in case uh-huh. for somebody who had read volume 1 with us Mm-hmm. And it's like, Mark, I need a little bit of a refresher. Where are we starting off in this one? Like, where does where does volume two start off? Let's let everyone in on that. So so essentially, Yorick, um, without getting too too much into it, Yorick, of course, being the last guy around, uh, he is with 355, who is his special agent. He's already talked with his mom. He has this mission. Uh, of course, he wants to meet up with Dr. Mann. I'm trying mm-hmm. to not give too many details about things. Dr. Mann, who I love that her name is and this And this is why I posed the question on you, because you're better at being very vague at yes. these things than I am. Not ruining things. So I ruin things all the time. That's why I hear you'll hear me say things like, I don't think this is spoilery, yeah. but I'm going to say it anyway. So the three, of these t- the three of these people, they need to get to California. Uh, to to find Doctor Man's lab, mm-hmm. they need to get there, and there's really, they didn't really start yet. They were trying to figure out how they were going to get there, and that's kind of where we're taking off now. We're taking off with them trying to make that cross country journey because they were just in Washington D.C., so it's tough. Yeah, it's gonna be a long journey. So with all that being said, if you want to read this, I strongly encourage that you do. You take your time, read it, come back. It's not gonna be a long time. It's very quick. And join us for the conversation. If you don't care about having things spoiled, that's awesome. Just join in on the conversation. Listen anyways. And also, if you've already read it, great. Let's have that conversation with hashtag lion, right? Yep, we're doing lion. Hashtag lion. L-I-O-N. Yep, just like the roar. Like the animal, like roar, Mufasa, Simba. Those Mm -hmm. kind of people. Yep, very much. Those kind of people, (laughs) yeah. Characters. Those kind of people, yep. Because lions are people too, man. Hey, they are they are definitely people. Yeah. Some of us uh, believe that, and some of us are dumb. Mm-hmm. So there you go. <laughs> so with that being said, don't press pause yet, but in just a moment, I'm going to tell you to press pause. Uh, and 
go read if you want to read. If you don't want it spoiled, great. If you don't care, just move on through with us. All right? Because we are now in spoiler mode. So pause if you if you don't want things spoiled. Spoiler mode. Yay, we're here. Awesome. Ricky, how you doing? I'm doing great. I it, this spoiler zone is a little spoiler zone, spoiler world, mode, whatever we're spoiler, mode. the world of we, spoilers. We're, we're almost a done with season one, and we have yet to come up with a consistent name for that. I think we'll do mode. I like the mode that mm-hmm. you're setting here, but yeah, I this is this is one of the greatest. Like, nah, I, not greatest. One of the most solid stories that has been able to reel me in because. I want I want to jump really quick. And this okay. is we got to jump right to Marisville. When yeah. he gets to Ohio, I want your first thought what you are thinking when this whole group of women mm-hmm. kind of have a little secret that they're hiding. All right, well let's go let's go I'm going to go a little before that. Um I went too far, like usual. Well, so just I mean there's not much that happens when they're on that train. Basically, they go on a train and they get there. Mm-hmm. They run into some thugs. They get kicked off the train, which is only important because those thugs then run into Yurik's sister, yeah, Hope, who then finds out where Yurik Hero. is. Hero, not Hope. Hero. Uh, we'll we'll deal with that type of stuff later. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're here. Yurik, they're separated. Yurik is separated from three fifty five and from Doctor Man, and they're here, and he gets seen. By a nice looking lady. And my first thought, well, she says, thank you, Jesus. My immediate thought. Which made me either, like, my Mm -hmm. first thought was, okay, somebody who's not going to try to kill him? Well, yeah, but my my first thing I'm thinking, okay, she sees a man. She's really excited about it. She's thinking, Jesus. She's going to have sex. She wants to repopulate. This I I was thinking that it was going to be some kind of breeder situation where they're like, all right, let's lock him up. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's start making babies. Let's get this thing going again. Let's see what we see, can do. I didn't necessarily think that point. I just thought of it as a, oh, thank you, Jesus. They're not all dead, and this one's mine. Mm-hmm. And I found maybe, him. He's mine. Like, like that kind of Finders thing. Finders keepers. And you kind of get that immediately from her. Like, not a, I'm going to lock you up and keep you here, but mm-hmm. you can tell that she likes Yurik. And it's more of a, do you like Yurik or do you like Yurik because you know he's the last man? Yeah. It's actually a little surprising to me, and I don't want to, you know, no one can get mad at me for saying this. Mm -hmm. It's a little surprising to me that in this type of situation, there's nobody who, I mean, she's pretty quick to the gun. But there's nobody who's just sitting there like, there's a dude? Uh, All right, I want to hop on this. Because I'm thinking of it in the man's perspective, if all the women are dead... Mm-hmm. And I find one. Oh, n- we're I'm killing there, each other for her. Yeah, I'm sitting there going, we are murdering all right, each other for her. Does anybody else know that she's around? Uh, because if they do, or if nobody else knows, we're not going into any cities. Yeah. I don't want anybody to know, like, this This is mine. She's my wife now, immediately. Let's get married <laughs> right now. Well, that, that doesn't matter, but it's more of a... It's, a, it, it's such, like, if, if you're a girl and you're, like, really hating us for this, I'm sorry. Like, but you I, think it would be either way. You think that you see... Because so, humans are animals, and animals like sex is yeah. what it comes down to. But it's more of a, for me, on top of that, too, it's like, well... Companionship? Okay. Well, there's none. There's no other girls around, so immediately I am going to want the last girl. Yeah, I, I am lonely. I probably miss my, my wife, wife or my husband in this situation. whatever you know, it is. I miss whoever it is that is gone now. Uh, Well, I got somebody here. I'm mm-hmm. happy about that. So I, I definitely was not surprised that she was very straightforward and she's like, I want that. Um, Cool. So they, they kind of go forward a little bit and you – I, at first, I was thought she was just going to be like on a farm or something. Are you surprised that she didn't try to? And I'm going to get a little vulgar here, so I'm apologizing uh-huh. to some of the viewers that may not want to. But are you surprised she didn't suck that dick uh, while uh, he was asleep? Because she did take his underpants off. That's what I was thinking. Like she did. Did she not do anything while he was naked? I don't think that she did. I don't think that she did because she thanked Jesus. So I think she's got a little she's bit a good, of that, she's that a good, moral. She's cri- a good preacher Which, Christian girl. honestly, part of me with the I like to make connections, I like to read into things, mm-hmm. I'm thinking the whole time, why did she thank Jesus? It's probably not just that they want to say, oh, she's a religious woman. They probably want to put out there that like she's not the kind to take advantage of him while he's yeah. knocked out, um, which is good. So, yeah, I, I don't think so. And plus, I think she's probably also thinking, hey, this guy here, I, she's thinking, I know men. Mm-hmm. Men want sex. 
she's he's gonna jump at this. Yeah. I know I'm a good looking lady. That's my thought. Um, Here's another thing I want to ask you about. Yeah. The kind of um little panel where they're talking, and I'm looking at now three panels right here, where the text went through where he's like, Oh, oh I think that uh you're pretty and such and such and she's mm-hmm. like he's like, Oh, nobody else uh has seen that mo- movie. Oh well I just like it for Bowie. And then where he says, Well, Billy for you and she goes, Yeah, chili for me and they both go, Fame? Mm-hmm. When they have that moment and then they're like, Wow, I never knew anybody that knew the correct words. They're like hokey romance, yeah. like uh oh, they're falling in love. What did you think of that? Did you think of like, oh man, that girlfriend, that Beth, she ain't staying around for long. Get her out of here. Well, yeah, I mean, part of it for sure is that type of thing. Of, I mean, it, it gets it gets tough. It gets to do a big dilemma here because she brings up Beth right. Oh, that's a ring around your neck, and he goes, oh yeah, about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. My, I got this girlfriend. Uh, uh it's kind of complicated. She's, it is complicated. Uh, she's down under while I'm uh, here she, in the states. She thinks that he's dead because all men are dead. And that's really what it comes down can to. I, can I ask a hypothetical future question? Sure. Do you think we're going to get to a spot where they eventually meet and either she has banged another dude or has another dude, like currently? Like they find a... Like he's she not finds, the, the, like she he's finds not, the second to last or, man. Or not, not just that, because we're going to get to a thing that kind of throws a wrench into everything later, uh-huh. but... Do you think maybe it's a situation where, oh, I thought you were dead, so I started liking chicks? Well, yeah, I mean, to to pull one thing for, of course, it, that's not necessarily how that works. But we don't we don't know the character. She could have been bisexual or something like that. Too. But I'm thinking more of a, you Just, know, what? I want some kind all of companionship. The men, all the men are dead. I need some kind of companionship. Boom. I'm now with said female character. Mm-hmm. It's could possible. Do that. They could do that. But do you think we're going to get to that point? It's tough because I think I don't think we're gonna get that. Or does he even find her? Does he even get to Australia still? I think he's got to find her at some point. At some point in this story, they're gonna run. They're gonna cross paths. Um, I don't necessarily. It, I, it makes sense that they would have her have found a guy mm-hmm. because there has to be some kind of issue when they cross paths again because they're not gonna cross paths for a do, long time. Do we you know just, they won't. Do we just throw out since I'm assuming spoiler mode? Yeah, we're in spoiler mode. You know what? Because at the end we see that there's two guys in space. Yep. Because the thing the the problem was on Earth, not in mm-hmm. space. So there are other at least two other men that Which, exist. Because that crazy Russian lady when Veronica is that her name, the head of the Amazonians. I believe so, yeah. Um when she was like, Oh, get her out of here, she's delusional. Give her some of your rations. I was like, I don't I don't know. I don't think that this, this is, is probably gonna come back yeah, up. I'm yeah. like Part of me is like, well, it could be that kind of like they wouldn't throw when, it in there when it's on it like the Simpsons, where it's like, oh, here's the plot, but like, oh, here's the crazy character in the background, and they're taking uh-huh. him away. I'm like, yeah, that that could be it, but in comic no, world, they I'm don't like, waste yeah. panels on on stuff like that. But I'm also like, you know what? In if it was a comedy, yes, I could see that, but this isn't a comedy. That's no. gotta mean something. And then at the end, when I mean, I know I'm jumping right to it, but you see the two. Male mm-hmm. astronauts, I'm like, holy shit, how are they going to get back to Earth? How yeah. are they going to get back here? Well, I, I it's interesting. I like the dilemma that you bring up, or the hypothetical you bring with up. With the girlfriend? To going to, with the, the dilemma here that he has is, mm-hmm. so he's in a situation where she thinks he's dead. Yep. Now, of course, there's no other men out there. So if she's a 100% straight woman, he might feel pretty safe that she's not finding companionship anywhere else. So, he might feel safe in that. But at the same time, you do have to wonder, like, she's going to get lonely and things like that. Uh, She might move on. She might just mourn his death and Mm -hmm. be accepting of the fact that he's gone. There is an interesting uh, kind of hypothetical question that I do remember uh, drawing from, let's say, two people are on a deserted island or something Mm -hmm. like that. Um, So, Ricky, your wife is on a deserted island, and there's a man there with her. They help each other out. Months go by, years go by, whatever. You're assuming she's dead, she's long gone, but then they f- somehow get rescued and they come back. In your mind, you're thinking they probably banged, right? Yeah, totally. The no, two, that's the two first, people on an like, island? You are describing this hypothetical, uh-huh. and the jealous part of me is like, she fucking banged him. I yeah. know she did. There is another quote. This is from Harlan Cohen. Mm-hmm. I remember this name. 
He, his thing he always says is if you put two people in a room long enough, eventually they'll hook up. It might be a long fucking time, but eventually those two people are going to hook up. And, and I, that's kind of I can kind of believe that. And this is not I mean he's not locked in a room with anybody, mm-hmm. but the fact that, you know, she's not there the longer he goes by and he can't find this woman, he has no idea where she is. Well, There's no guarantee she's staying in Australia. Not just that it would be different if they like to me that little hokey sentimental thing that I threw out. Uh-huh. Like you said, in the comic world, you don't waste panels on anything. Every single panel is important. Yeah. And in this that's important because it wasn't like, a, oh, we're not going to kill. Like, you're thinking right now, oh, I've never even, like, oh, I've never had anyone think of that. Oh, they're going to kiss. They're going to kiss. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. However, it sets it up. It sets up that they have that connection that brings yeah. it in because now it's one of those things where you're thinking, and part of me has been, I have been in that situation. I'll be honest because I it was stupid. It was in, what was it? Um, freshman year of high school. Mm-hmm. Had a girl halfway across the country. California for her. We're here. Chicago for us. And it was one of those things where it's like you talk to a girl face to face and you just think, oh, but this one's right here. And mm-hmm. we have. And when you have that, you feel Long like. Long distance is tough. Well, and not just that, but when, if you feel that connection like, huh, me and this girl now have a something in common. Oh shit! I gotta make a decision. That's where it's like shit gets real, and I'm like, oh, I fucking know what he's thinking right now. Because mm-hmm. yeah. now he's thinking, do I still con- continue the search for the girl that I want to ask to marry me, or do I just give up because of this whole apocalyptic thing mm-hmm. and, and stay she pro- here? She, like I keep saying, with she the girl, assumes he's dead. Well, she yeah, she has mourned his death. Dead, and do I now stay here with this girl? Not only because she's a girl, but because now I feel like, oh, shit, we got something in common. I have connected with somebody yes. else. It's the the one debate. Is there truly the one? Because what if you're the one lives in Africa mm-hmm. and you live in the U.S.? Mm-hmm. Um, that whole debate, which we don't need to get into because it's we don't have all the time in the world on this podcast. But the We're other, not a philosophical show here on A Graphic Conversation. No. That's Even though we sometimes conversation. try to be. Um, it's a less graphic conversation, yes. typically. Now, the <laughs> the other thing uh, to kind of bring up with that too, of course, is the fact that he, you know, they're they're there, they have their connection, um, but then really none of it matters because she dies like ten pages later. <sighs> that it's killed done. me. It killed me. Mm-hmm. It killed absolutely killed me. And I'm actually glad you brought that up because. You know who I'm actually really happy is dead? Veronica? That fucking bitch Veronica. Like, yeah. The best line in this whole comic was when Veronica goes on this huge fucking spiel about how blah, 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 this and that, stats here, stats there, mm-hmm. yada, 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 and then fucking Sonia is the girl's name that uh, Yurik kind of yeah. kissed in the woods and then kissed a second he time. He kissed her twice. But, um... When they're like, really, you're not going to let me go? And she goes, yeah, just because she fucking throws around some stats doesn't make her right. Yeah. And it's interesting, too, um, because two things happened. When she's going on this rant, I'm like, you know, I appreciate this group. She's a dictator. Well, yeah. I appreciate this group that's assembled as, like, uh, but she's assembled enemies. this group out of fear. Well, I'm not necessarily talking about her. I'm saying oh, okay. I, I appreciate the group, the daughters of the Amazon. Okay. And, and them or as being I call this, the Amazonians. Yeah, them being this this competitive force. I appreciate that, but I really didn't want to listen to her for God, I was I thinking hated, about issues I hated three, her. issues four, I hated issues her. five. I didn't want to listen to her continuously. I was like, can we still can we get somebody else to be in charge? See you next Tuesday. Oh, I hated her. Mm-hmm. So I was glad they killed her off for another reason, too, of which we can get. Well, we had there's another character we wish they killed off. But this one, <laughs> it was good that they killed this off because it did show a little bit of kind of uh, some cojones. And also, in a way, it did remind me of like a Game of Thrones situation mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna try not to spoil any Game of Thrones things. Don't, for people. I'm, I'm three episodes behind right now. Oh, so I, don't. I, that's not the first thing I was thinking. Oh, about. okay. Game of Thrones is very good at. We think we're going here. We think these are the good guys and these are the enemies. And okay, then, boom, someone's dead. It's gone. And now it's completely done. Okay, who's the good guy? Who's the enemy? Mm-hmm. We're not sure. Uh, I do classically remember. Uh, it's probably like season three or something like that. Maybe even season two, where there's three different people, three different armies. There's the king's army. I'm not using names because I don't want to spoil things. Mm-hmm. And then there are two people who also want to claim the throne. All of them have armies. And we're like, all right, we're getting ready for this fight. Boom, one army completely destroyed out of nowhere. And it was like that quick, uh, you know, that quick and easy. That's what this reminded me of. We're sitting here. We're thinking, all right, the daughters of the Amazon, they are the main enemy. And then, boom, in one second, they're and, gone. Or I'm just going to say uh, one thing. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're probably like, oh, that means nothing to me. The mm. Red Wedding. Yeah. It's exactly like the Red Wedding. Yeah. It, it's just, it's a nice thing where we get to this situation where we're like, okay, we know what the game is, we know what's going on, and then in one second, everything changes, and they go to that Israeli um, secret force mm-hmm. or whatever. There's this group of, like, soldiers from uh, from Israel. Trying to find Yurik. For whatever reason. For a reason we do not know, oh, I, and they destroyed Dr. Man's I lab. Wa- I want to take them. That was the last book. I want to take them and push them to the side a little bit because mm-hmm. there's something Well, with I'm that just bringing sequence. that up because there's something they're now that, the main enemy. Yeah, there's something in that sequence that I want to get to, but I, I we have to get past all the stuff that's going on with... Um, because you brought up Veronica uh-huh. and how she did because Sonya threw yep, an she gone. axe in the head. But the one thing I wanted to kind of talk about is hero uh-huh. because she has the conversation with Yurik Yurik's fuck buddy as hero called her um killed Veronica and now all it like now it is that quote that Yurik said that uh, you know um hero's like yeah you, you say these things but you're not that smart uh-huh dad always liked you because you were smart and you're not that smart you don't know things I know things guy I've been around the block mm-hmm. and then between. That's that's kind of what I got. That kind of Boston, like, hey, fuck that. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. That's what I thought mm-hmm. when she was going through that. And then he goes, oh, the, well, you're wrong. Dad always liked you better than me. But the part before that, I thought there was something like, oh, she's going to she's gonna have a soft spot for him. Because it was the scene with Veronica where she's like, no, I can't. And then Veronica just fucking punches her in the face. Yeah. And it's like, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I'm your slave, ma'am. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. I mean, that's what that type of situation is when it comes to the fear. Whether it's like an abusive relationship mm-hmm. or it's like a dictatorship type of thing here. That's exactly what it is. They do a great job of depicting that. I do want to point out, we never mentioned that the the women in Marisville. All criminals? Yeah, they're all criminals. Yeah. That's why they're there, by the way. Guys, there's a, there's a women's uh, penitentiary. penitentiary right there and they all escaped. Um, and not just that, fucking Yurik's fuck buddy is a uh, a meth addict. Yep. And dealer. And she even said that, well, she wasn't really, a, she was framed for it. Her boyfriend mm-hmm. was the dealer, if she's telling the truth. Yeah. You'll never know because she's dead. Yep. But the whole thing is, she even says, she goes, yeah, I'll be honest. If I could score some right now, I'd fucking be on it. Like, mm-hmm. the only reason I'm not on it is because there's nothing here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. I appreciate the fact that they were so willing to completely go in a different direction mm-hmm. here. Um, and because really, that's all what this was about. This whole volume was just about getting rid of this group. That group is gone now. They were chasing them. And now we're left with the question of what's who's the next See, I, I don't think the group is gone. I think the head is gone. Because I think what's going to happen, either two things are going to happen with the Amazons. Either the group is going to die, mm-hmm. it's just going to be Hero, that will now escape and then be pursuing her brother, mm-hmm. or we will now see a two-headed monster of, here's the Hebrew group, here's the daughters of the Amazon, who's the head now, Hero. I would. Say, I don't think it would be necessarily like that. I think the group could possibly splinter. And you can have some of them that still want to live out that because there's that scene uh, mission where, and other ones who are going to do something else. Because there's that scene where heroes puking and they're like, "What are you? What are you doing?" And she's like, "My, my brother. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's out there. Yeah, he was an escape artist. He taught me some things. Here's a key that I just yeah. threw up." 
It's possible. I would think it's less likely that the group still exists and she just escapes on her own and goes and, and does some I stuff. Could, I could pass. Like, that's the one mm-hmm. I'm leaning towards because really what you want to keep is that connection between Yurik and um, Hero. Yeah. Because you want to keep that longing. Like, they are brother-sister, but let's be honest. They're going to fucking, like, they want to kill each other mm-hmm. now. And an interesting, th- well, one thing I was kind of hoping for, uh, because you noticed that Yurik and his companions, they were getting on that train and getting out there quick. Mm-hmm. I really hope that Volume 3 opens up with Marisville in flames. Like, Hero yeah. came in and she lit that shit up. And she's like, uh-uh, killed them all. I'm coming for you next. Let's turn her into a real hardcore villain. That would be fun. Now, I got a question for you before we get into... The one problem that I think both me and you had, it's not really a problem. It's just one thing I wish they would have went in a different direction with. Uh But before we get into that, I want to take that Hebrew group that we pushed off to the side. I want to bring them back because there's one tile. She's been talking on the phone with this person. One tile of their office. All you see is black and an arm. Is that a guy or a girl? I, I assumed it was a guy. I assumed it was a guy too, but is it a guy? And it's one of those things where it doesn't mean anything because there's two men at the end of this in space, but mm-hmm. is Yurik really the last man? Well, here's the thing. Uh, from the very beginning, I assumed eventually we would find out he wasn't actually the last man. I figured eventually we had to get to a point where there are other men. It, it just made sense. It wouldn't make sense for there to never mm-hmm. be another guy anywhere. Um and the fact that they're cutting off at precise, you know, angles and, and being a little very secret. I mean, it's very hand, obvious that there's another guy out there. And his, it's this guy. His too. hand kind of they try to make it look a little feminine mm-hmm. in the size of it. Not saying that men with small hands are uh feminine because I have smaller hands, but mm-hmm. uh hashtag chubby fingers for uh there you a go. second hashtag. But, hashtag line, hashtag yeah, chubby hashtag fingers. Hashtag line, hashtag chubby fingers, but I kind of was looking at those tiles, and I went, you're cutting it off for a reason. Yeah. That's a guy. And well, plus my first thought, mm, like, just reactionary was, oh, that's a guy. The only other thing it could be. Is his mother. Yeah, because nothing else would make sense. There's, we don't know who that character is. There'd be no reason to. I didn't fucking think about that until I heard you say, the only other thing it could be. And I went, da-da-da, Oh, mother. there it is. Got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are the only two options in my eyes. Of things that that could be. Yeah. Now so, now I'm leaning more towards the mother's side, and I feel like an idiot for thinking that it was a but guy. No, but it could still be a guy. There are definitely going to be other men in this story. What without do you think a of doubt. the haircut? Jorah getting a haircut? Yeah, a little haircut. Yeah, whatever. Also, I mean, I don't really have an opinion about it one way or the also, other. Also, Agent 355 uh, uh-huh. getting her love on yeah, for she, Yurik. She, she likes Yurik. She's into that. When she was knocked unconscious, uh, she wakes up. And I just love that Dr. Man's like, well, I never thought about it that way. Because she, <laughs> Doctor Man, thinks that she's talking to her. Yeah. She's like, I never thought about it, but I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? And then not? she says, "Yurik." Yeah. It's like, oh, never mind then. I guess I'll go back to being lonely. But what about the thing that? Because uh, I, I know you want to talk about it. What about the thing that I think both me and you feel like they should have changed? Yeah. And I think we, I know now why they didn't. We wish that three fifty five had died. Yeah. When she see, gets, she jumps out of the train mm-hmm. and she hits her head on a rock and she's laying there all bloody. It would have been cool if they just killed the character off yeah, because it would have been another, that, you know, another twist. Well, my first thought was talking about oh, Game of Thrones. My first thought was, oh, shit, she's dead. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's going to go? Like, it was that shock value of, oh, oh, she's dead. She's dead. And then you turn the page and you're like, oh, she's not dead. She's not okay. dead. She's still there. Nothing changed. However, looking back. It just would have been interesting to see them have to figure it out. I, yeah, but having this discussion, I kind of feel like. I know why they didn't. And mm-hmm. the reason why I think they didn't was now in hindsight, knowing that Sonya died, there needs to be another character that could be that. The love in, triangle. Yeah. The in yeah. conflict with the girlfriend. And yeah. I feel like we're going to get to it. Because sooner now than he later. had the deterioration. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, people always say one to cheat or always a cheater. I like to revise that and say once somebody cheats, it's easier to cheat. The next time. Yeah. So, you know, because people can change. But whatever. Um, can they? Eh, usually not, actually. But 
<laughs> I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt to some people. In my experience, they don't change, but whatever. Yeah, in my experience, they never change. No, but I'm trying to be an optimist here. Um, it's so hard. To be an optimist? Sometimes. Yeah. Anyways. It's uh, like when so- if someone asked you the question, like, mm-hmm. oh, if you had a girlfriend in Australia, but then you had a girl right here that you connected with, would you be totally faithful and not do anything? There's part of me that's like, in this situation, if she thinks I'm dead, I probably would. And you have no be, idea if you'll ever see her again. But there would be a part of me that would I would seriously not know what to do because mm-hmm. I've never been in that situation. Yes. And it's just like one where it's like, holy shit, we, I hope I'm never in that situation. We mentioned cheaters. Do we count that it's cheating? Do we think that Yorick cheated on his girlfriend? He did kiss that girl twice. I'm going to say, oh, that's tough. Yeah, right. Well, because, okay, my first thought, I, I realized, like, Ricky, you can't think about this. You uh-huh. got to you gotta you gotta vocalize because yeah. you guys can't see me. But the, because uh, that's what podcasts are since this isn't a video podcast. But my first reaction was no. And the reason why it was no was because I'm like, he still is in love with Beth. But then my second thought was... But he kissed a girl. Wait. Twice. Wait. Let me get to it. But my second thought was, if he didn't have feelings for Sonya, why would he go in for a second? Mm -hmm. Especially in a dramatic time when it's like, fuck, I could die. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been, I could die. This is the last girl I'm going to kiss. Beth doesn't mean anything if I die. There you go. Mm -hmm. But you don't make that kind of... You don't make a statement like... I'm sorry for kissing you twice, babe. Yeah, oh, right. What do you mean? I only kissed you once. Bam, laid on her. Fucking man to man. At least the first one, you can understand it might be a forgivable yeah, thing. Yeah, but the second one makes it like- You come back like, to the second one. Oh. Okay, you for sure have cheated now. Yeah, you, you've crossed that. You're crossing the, that the line. The first one was too. It was yes. cheating, but it was just at least- We understand Beth could probably get over that. It was that one where it's like, it hit like- Heat of the moment. Oh no, this is wrong. But, she immediately goes, no, yeah. no, no, this is wrong. But the, although she's the one that pulls away, yeah, he's not the one that pulls weird. away. Anyways, um, the thing that really does make it though is you know if in this situation if Yorick like was completely faithful the entire time, he goes back and she was not. All of a sudden, like she's finding love all over the place. He'd be like, damn it, Sony was I pretty damn cute, her, right? I should have fucked her, man. I should have fucked her, man. Um, but that's that's a different story. Uh, oh, that's a whole different topic for an entirely different but podcast. The reason I brought all this up mm-hmm. is, especially the you know, it's easier for people to cheat once they've cheated before. Yeah. Um, that's why knowing people's history is actually kind of important. It uh, is. So it's because now that Yorick has gone into this and he's put the toe in, it's a lot easier for him now to have this relationship with three fifty five, mm-hmm. who has expressed some interest in him. But because Yurik he's already done it once. But Yurik doesn't know. He doesn't it. need to know. He's already done something with mm-hmm. another girl, so it'll be easier for him to do a little bit more with the next girl. I'm going to put you in the situation okay. of Yurik. The whole philosophical thing that mm-hmm. we just talked about, because I feel like we're still in that same context. I don't know if you literally gave an answer. I think it was more me. Mm-hmm. What would you do if you had a girlfriend who was, we're going to say Australia, because that's yeah. still far away away from us. But then there's a girl right here. Yeah, it's tough. It really is tough. I think it, for me, it goes to one thing. If I'm still actively going to try and get to Beth, then I'm going to put the foot down and I'm going to say no. If I'm going to say, because 355 is saying we ain't going to that chick. We're going to California. Mm -hmm. You've given up on that dream because she probably is dead or doesn't want to do anything to do with you. Well, and it could be 355 is also um, using using that. To kind of say, hey, if I squash it now, I'll have a better chance. But For sure. Go, go on with your hypothetical. If, if there's no way that I'm going to try and find this woman, then I'm assuming the relationship is dead. We just can't communicate that to each other. Okay, I'm moving on with my life. If I still in some way am going to try and find her, then I got I to gotta put the brakes on it. I got to stop mm-hmm. myself. Because I know that I'm going to have to say something. You know, I'm going to see her and be like, by the way. I'm kind of banging this Sonya chick a little bit. I hope that's okay with you. Yeah, she's not going to be okay with it. No, she wouldn't. And there's, with me in this situation, I'm kind of in the same park as you, but 
it's just where my mind goes uh-huh. and how I'm a kind con- like, this isn't just me and this is me in general here. I'm a fucking worrier. I worry about shit yeah. that I shouldn't worry about. And one of the things, and I probably, I would have done almost the same thing as Yurik without the second kiss. Uh huh. I'm not saying that that something like that first kiss wouldn't have happened because you never know, but there is with me, I just, I'd be sitting there like in the train car before all this happened. I'd be sitting there just thinking like, fuck, she's like, she's, she she's banged, pissed. she's banged this many chicks. She's found another dude. She's banged this dude. She's moved Maybe there's on. tons of guys in like, Australia. Maybe no one died in Australia. Like, and my mind goes mm. to the worst, like whatever the worst possible thing I could think of, that's what it would go to. Yeah. And that with me would be my inner dilemma is just fighting off. And I think that, that would drive you crazy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's just the kind of thing of like, you know, we're not, we're not saying that your in the right here because you're totally in the wrong here. Um, but I shouldn't have kissed her the second time, even no. though I know dramatically, her the first time, but dramatically is a storytelling like point. It, it was good. However, that's going to come back to play something. I think in oh, it has the to. future. It has to. But yeah, it's just that thing of if Yorick has decided this relationship is over, then he's okay mm-hmm. because there's no way he can make that communication. That's not his fault. But you know he's gonna in the next book be like, all right, we're still going to Beth. We're gonna find Beth. You know he's gonna do that. That's why he's in the wrong in this situation. So. Anything else we need to touch? The two guys at the end? We didn't touch we, them we, I mean, we, we talked about them briefly. Uh, what? Let's do this before we move on to the review. Last slide, mm-hmm. two guys in space with a girl, and he says, we're going back to Earth, which you know, okay, these guys are going back. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen from here? And also, I want to throw out there, Fucking womankind, you are now saying thank you because one of them's black. You know what that means? Big penis. Sure. Ricky watches <laughs> a lot of porn uh, is what we just learned. So anyways, my my thought is a couple of things. One, it's going to be interesting to see if these guys come down to earth and die immediately. Die immediately? Oh, because, ooh. Oh, that's interesting. What if it's like an airborne yeah, thing? Yeah, it's something in the air huh. that's going to kill these guys off. Even if it's not immediate, but it's like oh. one of them dies a few minutes later. I don't know. I didn't it fucking could be th- possible. I didn't fucking think about that. That is good. You also got to remember, where are they going? Kansas. And where is Yorick? In Ohio. Where is he going? California. What's he going to probably go through? Kansas. Kansas. They're going to meet up. Yep. They have to meet up. They have to meet up. Because that crazy woman got kicked off of that train, mm-hmm. meaning that train was going to go to Kansas because she wanted to go to Kansas. Yeah. Because she knows for whatever reason that's where those people are going to go. Something's going to happen where they get kicked off at Kansas. Yeah, exactly. Something has to happen. I, I From the very beginning, like I said, I knew at some point there had to be some other guys mm-hmm. just because there had to be some wrench thrown off. Oh, Yorick's not the last man. You and, know? You, and you know what I would have I would have loved to do just a few moments ago? Huh. I would have loved to take took a picture of your face when I was talking about one of the last guys being black. Mm-hmm. Just took a picture of it when you before you said you're lying about me watching porn. Yeah, great sight to see. I'm sorry that you guys listening out there couldn't see it. Mm-hmm. Good job, Ricky. Good job. <laughs> I, I wish cricket, that you guys could cricket. see this thing that I saw. Man, it was really it was nice great. when I said this oh, thing. Oh man, I'm totally. Uh, Totally just uh, rubbing it in you guys' faces. I'm sorry. It was awesome. You should really be in this room right <laughs> you should now. should really be in here with us, man. Oh, wait. It's like y'all already You guys are. are missing out. So, Ricky, what are you going to rate this one? Oh, I mm, I want to say four out of five. Yeah. I almost said five. Here's the way I'm thinking. This four out of five, solid, nice, as of right now is a series two in, five out of five for the series overall. The series is pretty great, for sure. Like, this is a series so far, I'm saying, dude, you haven't read why? Fucking read why, man. Yeah, you gotta go read it. Uh, I would say, I would probably am gonna say four as well. The one thing that would bump it up is if 355 died. I know that she's important, mm-hmm. but it just would have been ballsy if Depend, they did it. It depends on what they do with her. Now, why yeah. did you keep, was there a big reason? Oh, there has to be. A for more than just the love interest that you kept her because alive. It, it's very cool. This one did a great job of moving the f- story forward, changing it in a different direction so mm-hmm. we don't know where we're going now. Uh, a lot of questions are being asked. It just would have been so much cooler if they did that one thing, but I can't blame them for not doing it because I'm sure she's very important and she's going to be the next love interest. 
Uh, and those two are going to be together when they meet Beth because that's bound to happen, right? I think so. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, uh, we definitely both agree that you you have to read this. You really do. You got to read it. So go out there and do it if you haven't already. So the next thing I want to talk about is what we're going to do in two more weeks. We're going to read Batman Mad Love. And the reason we're doing it, of course, is Suicide Squad. We wanted to have something Batman related for this. But let me tell you a little bit about Batman Mad Love. So this is actually not a graphic novel. This is the first time we're not really reading a graphic novel. Instead, we're going to be reading a kind of, it's a, it's a big comic. It's a 64 page comic. So this one all revolves around Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is just upset that Batman keeps ruining her relationship with the Joker. And she knows that if she can get rid of Batman on her own, life will be great for her and Joker. He'll be so happy, so proud of her, and they can finally make little Harley Quinn Joker babies. And she goes out to capture Batman and finally get rid of him once and for all. Make sure you head over to Patreon.com, subscribe to the channel, and or subscribe to us by becoming a patron, And for $5, you can actually get that episode a week early, which is awesome. You can get it next week, get it early, and then brag about how you have it. Go ahead and spoil it for other people if you want. Season finale. I can't stop you. It's a season finale. That's true. Season finale. That'll be fun. Uh, And besides that, of course, like the channel uh, or like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter. I'm at TheMarkWeber. Ricky's at Ricky Widmer. At Most Valuable Pod if you just want to follow us there. But we're all over MostValuablePodcast.com. We're on SoundCloud, iTunes. Uh, if you got an Android, we're on the Google Play I was just going to say, we're on the Google Play now. Yep. So you can go find us there. Do all the things. Leave comments down below. Let us know what we need to read next. Because like we said, season finale is coming up in two weeks. So we got to start planning what we're going to do for season two, what we mm-hmm. want to read. We need your guys' suggestions. Let us know down below. But until next time, we'll see you in two weeks when we read Batman Mad Love. Thank you for listening to this MVP podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Most Valuable Pod for more great podcasts.